we are live. Say hi, Mimi. Hi. So it's Heather Boyd Wire and Mimi Dolls. And we are live from the Viva Vida Art Gallery in the Point Claire Village, which is in Montreal, if you guys don't know where that is. Uh, today, I just have my iPod. I don't have my computer, so I might have a little bit of trouble uh, watching your comments, but I wanted to do the live tonight because we are at the Viva Vida Art Gallery and I just did an encaustic workshop. So Mimi, do you know what encaustic is? It's um, melting wax and using it to paint. Exactly. So we've got someone hey. here. It's, is it Joanna? Okay. Yeah. And Joanna, hi, you're the first one on. I actually don't have my computer, so if these comments go by and I can't read them, it's because I am nearsighted and I can't. I'm holding my, my arm out so that we can see the, the screen here. And I'll show you guys what we made. So this is encaustic. Hello, everyone. And there's Kat. Hi, Kat. How are you? So Kat, we're at the Viva Vida Art Gallery. This is what we made tonight. This is just like a sample. It's hard to see. It's very abstract. It's encaustic painting. So I don't know if you guys know what encaustic is. It's like Mimi just said, it's basically painting with wax. So we had a melting lot of- Melting wax. Melting wax, yes. Melted we, wax. We had a lot of fun like, with that. I didn't actually combine wire with it. I had thought about it, but uh, we didn't. We didn't uh, combine wire. We kind of ran out of time. And it's very quite labor intensive because you have blocks of wax that you melt and you need a heat gun to melt them all together. So that's cool. Actually, I'm gonna bring you guys around and show you the gallery a little bit. And I'll show you the encaustic piece that I did before if I could find it. So let's just look around the walls here. Oh, I'm gonna have to, can I flip my screen? You know what, I'm gonna flip the screen. See. And I actually have some jewelry and some of my art in the gallery. So I'll just flip it around here and we'll just look around. There's some beautiful pieces and we're kind of set up for workshop, but you can still see some of the pieces on the wall. There we go, we're just gonna go around and I'm gonna bring you to our space. This is the studio space and there's a space at the front that's more like a boutique. And uh, there's a beautiful work, students work too. And then we also do, we have some framing here. I'm gonna have to plug you guys in because my iPod is gonna die. So I'll just give you a quick look around. <laughs> and there's some mixed media cards here. So this is, this is my stuff here. We've got some cards. This one's cool, it's wire. Actually, this one's really pretty. I should do some, a demo of something like that sometime. This is like a, a wire yoga figure. And then I have this one like a card with a shell and the fish, all kinds of neat stuff. And then we have all kinds of jewelry at the gallery. I'm gonna do this quickly because my iPod is gonna die. And we've got some lights here. And then I'm gonna bring you guys back up to the day. So there we go, some lovely pieces. And I'm going to plug you in before my iPod dies. So there we go. And I'm going to get Mimi to hold the camera. And I thought I'd do a quick, quick wire thing. So let me plug you in. Oh, let me just do this here. And yeah, let me know if you don't hear me. Yeah. And this is so sad I made. Here, I'm going to get you to hold that. And I was working on this idea here for a wire heart with hands. And the reason I wanted to do that one because I've been listening to the Oprah Winfrey Deepak Chopra 21 day meditation experience. I don't know if you guys uh, meditate or if you've heard of that, but it's a free online experience for um, to do meditation every morning. And uh, I thought, what can I do that's sort of inspired by this meditation experience? I thought, well, why don't I make a heart with some hands in it? So that's what I'm gonna do. And we'll see how it's going to work. And then I'll show you how I do some hand earrings, just like two hands at once. So let's just start. I'm just going to do a single one right now. And so basically, we're just going to start with the bottom of the heart. Okay, so just to show you again the design like that. Oh, there's Clarice. Hey, Clarice, how are you? So there we go. We're, we're just doing a little fun demo. We're at the Viva Vida Art Gallery in Montreal. And I was teaching an encaustic class, so I thought I was going to do a fun little demo while we're here. And my idea was to do some little hands. Uh, hand, we're going to have the finger up like that. So to do hands in a heart. So let's just see if it's going to work. This is an experiment. And then I'll do a pair of hands and see how that goes. So we just need the four fingers showing. So we're just, I'm just doing it by eye. So it's going to be a little tricky to get them even. 
but we'll just do it this way. And some other hand jewelry too. I have uh, do the uh, ASL symbol, the I love you symbol for this language, which is really cute. And here, so there's one hand. Let's just tighten it up a little bit. My hands are a little sticky because we were doing encaustic. So see, the, there's one hand coming along and we're just gonna go up like that. Now, the key is to get the other hand on the other side about the same size, so let's just measure it like that. I'm just gonna measure it so it's about the same size, about, that, about at the same direction. I have another pair of rings that I do that's really cute. It's like a book, and so this is kind of based on that design, so it's like um, hands holding a book. And this is kind of a similar idea, but I wanted I wanted to do is just do the hands in a heart. So I thought that would be really cute. So we'll see if it's gonna work. So this is gonna be like the pointer finger and the middle finger. Now what I should have done is clean my hands, but the trouble is to clean your hands, you need like really boiling water to get the wax off it. So I'll, I'll just uh, scrub them up later. For now, it's fine even if it dulls up the wire a little bit, that's okay. So already they're looking not too bad. See, there's those are the hands. Okay, and then we're gonna just go up here. So if you guys comment, uh, hopefully I'll get it. Maybe you tell me if anyone comments because I can't see it too well. So here are the hands, okay, based on this sketch. And so now you want the heart part at the top. So I'm just gonna get this, all I could find was a little pot of glitter. Yes, they, they do lots of arts and crafts and birthday parties and things for kids here at the so they've got some glitterings. So we're just going to do one of the curves at the top here. Unfortunately, this glitter pot's a little soft, but I think it's going to work okay. So we're just, we just want to get this round part started. I could use my ring form, but I didn't actually bring it. So we're just going to get these little round bits at the top. We'll just bring that around like that. Oh, that one's bending for some reason. Okay, let's just bring it in a little bit more. Yeah, this one's, this butt's really super soft. That's not the easiest thing to do. Sometimes I use like a Crayola marker and that works well. So any kind of little round form. In fact, maybe I'll use the Sharpie. Let's use the Sharpie. Let's bring the Sharpie in and we're just gonna bring that in like that. And last week's live stream was really fun. Clarice had the idea to do like some more beaded little figures and I really am happy with the way that that was really fun. So yeah, so there's, gives you a little bit of an idea. There's like the little heart. We could bring it in a little bit more. It's not super even, but that's art. Art doesn't always have to be super even. Just bring it in a little bit more. And it, yeah, it kind of looks like hands in a heart. It's not too bad. Then to finish it off, you want to just bend these wires to the back, okay? And this one, do make sure it's more or less in the same position. And just bend these. See how I just bent them to the back? And then just pull those together. And then you have flat pliers. Okay, get a pliers. And just hold those two together. Take one of them, bring it up and around. And then clip that end. And then, as always, you need to make a loop at the top to hang it up. So we can just hold those, hold those around like that and get your larger round pliers and do a little loop around. And this could be a pendant or it could be earrings, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Or you can make it larger to do like a decoration. I just thought it was a nice little symbol. I've actually really seen a logo like this. There might already exist a logo like this, but to me it really represents gratitude because it's the heart with the hands. So why don't you guys let me know in the comments, either in the live stream or in the replay, what you're grateful for. That would be wonderful to know. I have a lot of things that I'm grateful for. One is Amy that's holding my iPod. <laughs> Here we go. Put small sea beads. You could put seed beads. That would actually be really cool to put uh, seed beads around the outside. That would be super cool, red or any other color. So there you go, guys. So that's the heart with the hands. Very simple, very cute. So there's that one. And then I'm going to show you how to do just the hand earrings. So this is a 20 gauge wire. We'll get another little piece. And very awesome. Oh, Melissa. thank you, Melissa. That's awesome. So let's just take a couple of pieces of wire, 
probably 10 inches long. I never know exactly how. I'll read the comments. Okay. I never know how, how long this is supposed to be. So 10, 12 inches is good. Better too long than too short. So I think I would do it. Like I have a couple ways you could do it. You could do it and then finish it off at the spot with a spiral at the bottom. But if you're gonna do that, you wanna do like a little loop at the top. So, because if you just hang it into the hand itself, it's going to like tip all over the place. So why don't we start by doing a loop at the top and then that way you have something to hang the earring on. So we'll start by doing a loop, and then to start, this will be, I guess, the middle finger. So we're just gonna go down like that. Okay, if we do that one. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the other side because we're going to do my little earring hack where you do two at once. It's always fun to do that. So we're going to go like that and bring that one down a little bit. And then the idea is you put the two wires together to form the rest of the hand. So let's just put them together. And this way they're, they're going to be the same size, the, uh, the hands. So put them together like that and then we're going to form the other the other finger so we're going to bring it up and so the middle finger is the highest one so the next finger will be a little lower okay that'll be the ring finger and then the baby finger it's a little just slightly more down I just do these eye by eye because I've been doing them for a long time so we're going to go like that and then the baby finger is quite a bit shorter than the ring finger so we're going to just kind of do it a little bit shorter like that. And then let's flip it and do the other fingers. Okay, so we've got, now it's gonna be the pointer fingers. So same thing, it's like about at the same level where the ring finger starts. And it looks like it's a little bit shorter than where the ring finger is, a little bit. And this, it doesn't matter if it's perfect at all. So if the pointer, so then you wanna go down a bit to where the thumb is. So we're just gonna go down like below where the 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 where the pinky finger goes. So we're gonna bend it up. Okay, and then the thumb of course is a little a little chubbier. And just if you want to judge it goes a little bit above where that intersection is. So you can just kind of eyeball that. And this just takes practice. So we're just gonna go like that. And then you want to bring this around the curve of the hand. Here we could bring the curve of the hand around like that. And then the other side, we're just gonna get to where the pointer is, or in the baby finger. And then we're just going to, I'm just gonna bring it down like that and curve it around, okay? And then what you could do is just maybe do sort of a bend down where you think that about the center of the hand is, and then you could take them apart. Okay, so then we're gonna take them apart, and here's the hand like that. And then you want to bring that around and wiggle it around so it looks, you know, how you, how you want it to be, like how large you want it to be. And then just give this a little loop around, and then you can finish this end. Okay, we can just finish that little end here. Get your little pointy cutters in there and then just bend that so that, so you've got like your little hand like that. But to make it more fancy, I mean, you could, you could put a bead in the middle, but what I'm gonna do is put like a little spiral. So what I'm gonna do is bend that up, okay? So it's, a little heart in the middle? A little heart would be cute too. That would be a great idea. Yeah, so we're going to put, for this one, I'll put a spiral. Maybe I'll put a heart in the other one. That's a great idea. So we're just going to make our little loop. So these are nice large uh, pliers that make a nice kind of spiral. You could also wind it around a pen if you wanted, like if you didn't have those larger pliers. You could just like stick a pen in there. In fact, we could do that anyways. Just stick like a little pen. And then you can get your round pliers in the middle to the middle your little smaller ones and then you clip it give it a little clip and then you can get your flat pliers to fin to tighten up your spiral a little bit so we're just going to go in there of course i'm getting wax all over these 
this wire, but that's my fault for not cleaning my hands, but <laughs> hopefully you guys can't see it on the, on the live stream. So there we go. So there is the little hand. Get the wax off there. There's a little hand with the spiral. So let's, for the other one, do Mimi's idea of, of, the, of the heart. So let's just go like that. We're just gonna turn that uh, around like that. And like I said, you could stick a bead in the middle as well. That would totally work. And I know when I do the uh, ASL earrings, I put a little heart in the base. So we're just gonna bring that one up. And then we're gonna form the heart. So basically get your larger. I love your tutorials. Aw, thank you. Who is that? Sky. Aw, that's, thank you so much. I have such fun doing them. I really, I really love it so much because I love to teach. In fact, that's uh, why we're here at the gallery because I was teaching tonight. Clarice, yay! I'm glad you made it this week, Clarice. That's awesome. Oh, Clarice, we're coming to New York. <laughs> Surprise! We're coming at the end of the month to uh, go see a film. Uh, a friend of mine is, uh, Martha Cooper, is uh, having a documentary about her uh, screened at the film festival. So we're going to New York at the end of the month for that. So maybe we will see you. So there we go. So here's the hand with the heart and the hand with the spiral and those are earrings yeah so that's it for today guys I'm going to turn the screen around there we go there oh maybe you want to say goodbye oh, okay. <laughs> she's still here yeah so thank you guys so much for watching that was really fun I love doing these on location videos and oh there he says wow yes yes yeah. so we're gonna fly this time we're not driving to New York because last time um, Mimi Drove in I drove the into city. the city and that was crazy. <laughs> that was a little ridiculous. Yeah, we kind of oh got lost. I drove in and out of the city. Yeah, it was a, a little bit much and it's a long drive too from it's Montreal. It's long and it's stressful. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and our car is not all that reliable sometimes. So it's okay. okay. But I don't know if I want to drive in the States with it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry. What kind of wire do you use? So this wire I used tonight was actually aluminum wire, a 0.9 millimeter aluminum wire, but I often use a 20 gauge uh, artistic copper wire. So you could definitely use that for this project. And uh, yeah, so be sure to also join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. Um, Clarice uh, helps me moderate that group. We have a really great time in that group sharing photos. And uh, awesome, thank you everybody for hopping on and we'll see you live next week and a new video on Saturday. So we'll see you the next time. Bye.